What's happening, Tubes? Hope everybody's had a good day. Mine has been... Nah. I can't complain, I guess. So, uh... What was I going to say? Oh, well, I was watching in somewhat of the news earlier, whatever, and seen that, uh, that, uh, old Donald Trump potentially could be running for president. You know, in the next couple of years or whatever. I'm glad. You know, he, he, you know, I don't know how much you guys know about him or whatever as far as how he handles his stuff, but he's got good business sense. I mean, yeah, he did go into bankruptcy one time, but he came out of it. And, you know, he's a very successful man. A uh, billionaire, quite I add. Um, I mean, I'm not all into politics and everything, but, you know, he probably could be one of the better ones to do things than what we've had and what we have. Uh, we need someone that can financially straighten this country out instead of uh, putting it in harm, which it has been for quite some time. Um, I came home and uh, started thinking, okay, well, you know, I'm determined to find out where this squeak is coming from that's on this truck one way or the other. Well, came home and grabbed a can of lube and grabbed some few tools and headed under the truck and started, you know, seeing if everything was tight, if bolts was tight, if anything may be loose and out of place. Well, it turns out that both the shocks on the bottom had, um, they weren't super, super tight, but they weren't super, super loose either. So I gave them a snug up. Um, checked all of my U-bolts and made sure they were tight because I've got the, you know, the, it's a, um, um, a two inch block in the rear. And uh, we got that, you know, that sorted out or whatever. <clears throat> Um, I moved around and I, you know, I got to thinking, well, damn, you know, this noise I thought that was coming from the front isn't coming from the front. It has to be coming from the rear and the only, on, and, and I can hear it more prominently on the driver's side rather than the passenger side. So I mosey on around to the gas tank and gave it a shake or whatever. And I didn't hear anything, but then I grabbed, um, where one of the straps comes over and there's a bolt that goes through a, a loop and you put a nut on the bottom of it. I moved it. It moved. Got to looking at it even closer. I sprayed a little lubricant like a um, PB blaster on it and uh, let it sit for a few minutes and you know tried to move it. Tried to to loosen it and tighten it, loosen it and tighten it, to try to work it back and forth the way I could finally run it around a couple of times and tighten it up. Well, it had seized onto the, the nut had seized onto the bolt. And um, <laughs> needless to say, we ended up breaking it off. But to give you any idea, if I were to take, let's see, these two quarters here, three quarters here and to sit them on top of this if you can see that that's how much room there was in between it and where it mounts to as far as holding it to keep it from moving so yes it was moving just that much back and forth um, I have looked online for a set of straps for it I think they're right at 30 bucks um, being at the other one, I'm not sure how it's mounted, but if it was, 
if it's if it's hard mounted like mounted to like a, something on the body or fr well, frame should I say <clears throat> they may end up having to be cut off or welded or grinded off or whatever and yes I do have a grinder but um, I'm kind of funny about trying to grind around a gas tank you know what I mean that's just not my forte so I may end up just getting the straps and getting a buddy who works on my stuff to damn go ahead and throw them on see how much it's going to cost me when I go to work tomorrow afternoon but that sucks you know you try to do something that you think would be beneficial and help you and it ends up shitting on you at the same time which I guess is a good thing that I found out that it was loose because I mean you know hey that extra gas tank and you know yes you have you know say this is a gas tank sitting here and this is a frame rail well there's, there's these what I call shelf legs they're mounted to the frame and at the ends of them there's the straps well the gas tank sits on top of the little you know shelf legs as I call them and the straps run over and then they bolt right back into the the leg or whatever or at least that's how one of them is the other one I'm not sure I didn't really look at it I stopped after I got that one because I figured hey you know if I if I'm sitting here and I try to to uh, do this and then that one right there just snaps right off and, and the bolt was actually bent because you know the the strap part of the bolt is still there um, but the strap has a bolt that's connected to it I don't I don't know what kind of bolt you'd want to call it I mean I'm sure it has a name but it you know it runs through a piece of metal and then obviously you tighten a nut up to get it tight and you know even if you'd use an impact on that or or you know an air wrench it would have it would have sheared it right off there would have been no you know no helping for it regardless whether I'm doing it by hand or you use a pneumatic gun or tool or whatever so it is what it is as far as that's concerned um, I am hoping that depending on what he tells me if he tells me that the bolts can just be replaced and I keep the straps so be it if he says well let's go ahead and replace the straps so be it then I'm gonna ask well how much is this gonna cost me and when do you want to do it because um, I don't feel comfortable with that strap being with the bolt being broke on the strap um, doing a whole lot of driving with it being loose I mean yes it does have the other strap holding it on and the you know the straps themselves are made out of steel so they're pretty much conformed to the shape of the tank but you got to think the tank okay let, let's say we're looking at the the position of the gas tank this this being the front of the tank this being the back of the tank towards the back of the truck and you know it's got them two little shelves that sits on and then the straps come over or whatever well if the front one is broken and let's just say that strap were to come loose and it were to move well if it moves to the right if it can't really move to the left because of the frame if it moves to the right it's going to hit the drive shaft and I do not need the truck to catch on fire that is the last thing I need right now um, so I'm hoping to hear good news I'm hoping to hear that yes we can do either A or B and it not set me back you know a small fortune um i'm sure he's probably gonna want a hundred dollars for doing it but minimum being 50 bucks if even that i i don't know i don't know i mean it's it's always i'm not gonna say it's always something but it's always something i got to spend money on with this truck that i don't want to um shit like this puts me behind because I can't do anything else. Um the ball joints was like three hundred dollars for me to do all that. So that was 
uh, $300 that I could spit somewhere else or did something else with but you know it is what it is but like I said I guess it's a good thing even though it's, it seems like a bad thing I had to go to a store a little while ago and uh, my mom took me and on our way back, you know, I said something to her. I said, damn, you know, out of curiosity, I wonder what kind of used vehicles they have on the Chevrolet place. So we stopped in there or whatever, and, you know, it didn't really look, look, because, I mean, being so late, didn't want to get out and cause a bunch of shit. Even though I did get out and look at the price on one vehicle, um, I actually looked at the price, the price tag on a 2015 Silverado... LT. Um, I didn't pay attention to what engine was in it or whatever, but it was like right at forty-three thousand dollars, which wasn't too bad. Still high, but not. To me, it's no ways as high as some of the trucks that we have at the Ford place. Um, especially the 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 equivalent of it. And hell, even that one was a four-wheel drive crew cab at that. Yes, the truck was blue. Yes, I really liked it. Yes, if I had the ability, I would buy it. I have the credit. And I have a pretty good amount to put down on one. But I just can't make the payments, you know? Not with this little pissant job I have. Something is going to come along and it's going to be better. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm, I hate. I would hate to leave being all the people that I work with are cool as shit. But, I mean, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I mean, I've held, I've held my, high, my head up high for... Quite some time now with expectations of, of things changing and me being able to get my foot in the door and, you know, even going above and beyond what I thought was my expectations to say, you know, I'm here, this is what we need to do, this is what I want to do, you know what I mean? But, uh, it's, it's just not working. But something's got to give, cause I'm I'm tired of uh, I'm tired of being being behind. Tired of being behind, boys. Uh, it's getting about time for me to start spraying for spiders and shit in here again. I didn't had to kill two or three, and I'm I'm seeing a I'm looking at a baby up here, making a little web. The babies end up making, you know, becoming adults and they have more babies and more babies and more babies and, you know, any any good average spider egg sack is going to have up to, you know, at least 80 to 100 eggs, if not more. And, you know, I, I just can't be having this shit. Um... Yeah, we just can't be having it. But anyway, that's that's all I got for tonight. Um, not sure what I'm going to name the title on this one, but I'll come up with something. But anyway, you might as well subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Till tomorrow. Have a good day.